Okay, let's try to uh, change the size of this plate. <coughs> Please notice the holes, they are, you know, placed uh, the way I want them now, but if I resize this plate, the holes are not uh, following the new, the new dimension. You can change that one to 280. You see the holes, they are uh, they are not f not following the, the plate size. So we're going to change that. <coughs> Just change that to 300. So click the Smart Dimension tool. Then um, select the edge of the plate. Then the uh, uh, hole. <coughs> so let's just set it this angle first. Type 10. And do the other one, do the same at the other side. There we go. And we do the same here. Just uh, stop here. So now we try to change the the size again, and it will not work. And I will uh, teach you, uh, tell you why. We change it again, and you see the holes are not following. Change to two ninety, three hundred, mm. to ten, and the. Is those holes. Okay, let's just <laughs> back a bit. There we go. So we change that one now to 290. You can see the holes <coughs> are here now and they did not move with the plate. They're only 5 millimeters from the edge now. So we change that back to 300. And that's <coughs> the reason for that is uh, the dimension. It's not locked, it's blue, it needs to be red, like the, that, that one and that one. So click the dimension, <coughs> at the number, and then uh, click the lock. So it's locked now. Now it's red. Do the same with the other one. Lock it. Lock it. And lock the, that one too so now we can change this and it will uh, they will follow now there we go and just need to dimension this one too and then it's all set you can move the view a bit if you have problems um, dimensioning it in the right direction we'll lock it and there we go. Should be okay now. Save that one. And uh, that's it. See ya.